Good afternoon, this is Dr. Kemi, and it is the 17th of November, 2024, Sunday afternoon. I'm not an evil person, but I'm gonna make this clear to everybody. I've been doing this for the last 15 years. And if 15 years is not enough, I think people should learn a lesson and a tough one. Those of you watching, I want you to know what exactly is happening here, including TikTok. For so many years, I kept quiet. I did my work, I put it there. I was not making money. I started resorting to crowdfunding my work. Media houses do crowdfund their work, so don't you know get that confused. But the money I should be making in this business called media, which consists of journalism, blogging, and everything, should be way more than this in Nigeria. I was making way more in America before I came home. At the end of the day, when you reassess your business yourself and everything that you've lost, I noticed a very big deficiency in my work. People were stealing my work. Nigerians have no right to steal my work, and Nigerians have no respect and regards for intellectual property. Intellectual property on social media, digital property, Nigerians have no respect. They will lift your work, your pictures, and they'll use it to make their own content. That's how it's done in Nigeria. Unfortunately, I have to make scapegoats. My first bloodbath was in 2014. It was bad. I took down several blogs, and I used Google for that. Now it's YouTube, and of course you know that Google now owns YouTube. They have copyright tools that will capture any of your videos that has been used by another person on YouTube. And once they capture it, that person that has your video needs to remove that video. They don't tell you. They give you a strike. If you have three strikes, they delete your channel. You lose all your videos. I've seen people lose 400 videos plus or more from my strikes. I've seen people beg me every day. I have all the emails of people begging me. I'm sorry, it wouldn't happen again. I'm sorry, this is how I eat. I'm sorry, I don't have money to pay you. I'm sorry, it was a mistake. I cannot take I'm sorry anymore. I have lost a lot of money. I have to beg for money to do my work. I have to ask for donations to do my work. You cannot steal my videos and use it to make anything. As time went on, the creators started something with YouTube, TikTok, and others. On TikTok, there's something they call duets and stitch, where you can use somebody else's video to create your own content. But that person has to enable it. They're doing it on Facebook. They're doing it on Instagram. Duet, stitch, and downloads. If you make a reel on Facebook or Instagram and you want people to be able to download your reel, I don't know why, okay, they can actually do that if you enable downloads. You have to turn it on. YouTube, they have something called Remix. That's the same thing of Instagram and Facebook. YouTube, when you upload a video, it takes a lot of time, energy, and money. For me to make a video, spend my time recording, right now what I'm going to record, put it together, and then I you know, load it, publish it on TikTok, which is the interface I use for my videos. When I get that video into YouTube, I now have to upload it. This is what I taught content creators. And I taught you guys free. I did not charge you money. I charged you $100 for it, but I didn't want to charge anybody 170,000 Naira because of the exchange rate. And yet some of you still go out there and steal my work. When that video arrives at YouTube, I have to upload it. But before I upload it, I have to turn on the button that says monetization. I have to turn off the button that says remix, audio and video remix. Turn it off because I don't want anyone remixing my stuff into their own content and making more money with it. And then, of course, I have to keep it away from kids. No, not made for kids. Because if you make things for kids, they will monetize you fully. When I'm done, all that work and I hit publish and my video is published. The same thing for Facebook. Imagine loading a video from TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and, and um, X. Now, I don't use Instagram and X anymore. It's a lot of work. I have no employees. Some people have employees that do it for them, Linda Ikeji and all these other ones. Okay? I don't have any employees. I work alone. I only use interns when I have to do special assignments in investigative journals like Mubaz, you know, Case, and Oromoni, and all those. So it costs me a lot of time, energy, and money. After doing all that, you now take my video, you cut it, and take what you want. I go around Facebook, I'm seeing my videos, that like, your lawyer said this and that, but you have to take some of my video. If you need to share my video, you click share on Facebook. If you need to share my video, 
to your page on Facebook or anywhere else. From YouTube, you click embed to your blog or share. You don't download my videos with your extra software out there. Some people make software where you can take out people's logos and watermarks. You can't do that with my stuff. I will take down your entire page. I'm really sorry, guys. I did 48 copyright. Ah, it's so tedious. Every single one, you have to write your name, your address, your phone number. Luckily for me, my address in Nigeria, Ibadan, for that matter, was already there. But I have to always sign and always put my name, address, click the copyright thing. Almost four things I have to click on 48 videos. 48 people got strikes. Some lost their channel. And my whole inbox is full of begging. It's not going to happen. I told my assistant in New York, she only does limited things for me. I told her to collect $500 from everybody. Everybody was ranting, please, I don't have $500. Ah, I can't even feed my children, but I want so hard to get 100 subscribers. Or really, someone has 68,000 subscribers in 11 years. They worked hard to make it. You are saying you worked hard for a year to get 100 subscribers, but you are stealing other people's work. It doesn't work that way. Your child and feeding your child is not my problem. I have children to feed too. One is handicapped, disabled with autism, 37 years. And one is still trying to get his life together. So let me say this to you, everybody. I'm not a wicked and I'm not evil person. Before I do this bloodbath, I always announce. I'm getting ready to take down videos, channels, everything. Don't call me wicked. Some of you on these pages, you see me putting those notices down. But yet people are still stealing my stuff. I'll give you a good example. I post a video about Iyabo Ju having sex with Naira Mali. Oh, I post a video about VDM, and I warn Iyabo not to mess with VDM. That video, on the average, I do 10 minutes videos on TikTok. When I take that video and post it on all my platforms, people that take it on Twitter, X, they don't download my video. What they do is they post my video. They click post video. So you will see it on Instablog, posted. You see it on One Jobless Boy. You see it on Post Subman, all the blogs on Twitter. They don't download it because they know the rules over there. There's something called fair use, where you can actually use something without taking permission. My work is not fair use. I did not enable downloads. I did not enable remixes, duet, stitch, no. You don't know whether we've enabled it. You just go and use your own software to download people's work. So if somebody doesn't enload, you know, enable something, don't violate their intellectual property rights. So at the end of the day, when I put that video out, my video gets 60,000 views. On YouTube, views are $8 per thousand views. So if something is 60,000 views, okay, you now take 60,000, okay, 60 times eight, that's $480. That's how much I should be making on my 60,000 views. But if Instablog Niger, or another viral platform like Tunde Ednot. Mind you, that's why Tunde lost three verified Instagram pages. It's on the fourth one now, and he credits people and he takes permission. He doesn't post my work. He's not supposed to. Linda and Tunde are not allowed to post my work or post anything about me. It's an agreement. Now, if a very viral you know, platform now takes my video and posts it, yeah, but I left online, I've seen 100,000 views. Instablog, I've seen 200,000 views. Why am I not taking Instablog and Yaba left and all those guys down? One, they have more followers than me, 1.6 million, 2.5, 4.8 and all that. Two, which is really one, they took permission to use it. They paid me. Some of the bigger blogs pay me before they can use my videos. You don't know that, but now I'm telling you. Once they pay me, they can put it on their site. They can put it, they can run into any views they want and they can monetize it. This is why I'm asking all of you for $500 each. YouTube took some of your channels down. I don't know about that. Okay, getting your channel back because you may have broken a few strikes. But as for the strikes, I can reverse strikes and I'm not going to until I collect my money. Thank you, everybody.